teach you how to sign up for a Shobi account. It's probably the most popular question that we get when we go out to do professional development and teachers want to know how they can make their classroom go paperless and Shobi is a great app that can help you do that. It's a free app and it's super easy to use. So all you do is this is Shobi.com. You're going to click sign up for free. And obviously you want to say that you are a teacher because this is going to create your classroom and you can add all your classes into it. You can also get the code and send that out to your students so they have that for their iPads. So I'm going to click I'm a teacher. And so here you can sign up for free. I'm just going to make a fake account for now. So, Miss Audra Reed, my password, at least four characters, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to use my personal account since I already have one set up for my school account, and I don't have a promo code, it would be nice, um, with a promo code you can have up to a hundred assignments in your account at one time. So I'm going to hit sign up now. All right, and this is what your doc will look like from your computer. You can access your classes on your laptop, but you can also access it through um, the Shobi app um, when you download it to your teacher iPad. So the first thing you're wanting to do is to start a new class. So for example, you're just going to click new class and name, um, I'll just use Pittsburgh State Tech for this example. So I have the name of the class. So in my classroom, I would use it for um, reading, writing, language arts and I would have separate folders for each individual class. That way when I have a assignment I want to drop into um, the folder I can do that. So this class code is the five numerical and alphabetical um, code that you're going to give your students. All they have to do is get into their app, sign in with their username and password, and put in this class code and it logs them automatically into this class rather than you having to log in each and every single one of your kids individually this allows them to do it for on their own so I'm gonna hit save and I just I never save my passwords so that's probably a good idea and so this is what it looks like uh, you can create a new assignment and I'm going to title the assignment website and let's see it's due you can set a due date or if it's something you want kids to have access through the entire year I just set it for like June 1st but so for this one it was November 3rd um, and then you can set a time for it anytime during the day so and then you hit save So you've set up your account so far. If you want to add a new assignment after that, you can just click here. Or if you add a new class, over here. But if I want to go and drop in a document, I'm going to click on the assignment that I created called Website. And this is what the shared folder looks like. Um, as you can see, it says you can easily collect and review student work from right here. All you got to do if you want to push out like a test or a document, you hit add file. Double click. And from here, you can drop in anything you want. So, um, for example, I think I have some screenshots down here or anything. Hmm. 
I'll just do a document that we've used here recently for my, one of my sixth grade English classes. Okay, so automatically, it automatically updates um, the document that you put in there as a Word document, and then students can open it into a PDF, or they can open up into pages, and they can type in it, and when they hit done, it sends it right back to you. And rather than taking on a huge stack of papers at the end of the day with 40 kids writing three-page papers, um, all I do is I take my iPad home, and I can write, write on it to them and send it back to them, and it's completely, entirely paperless. Um, so real quick, I'm going to log out of this account and log into my school account just so you can kind of see um, what it looks like with all the kids and um, what it looks like when they are all logged in and how I can go in and select um, one student's file, look at their stuff individually, and then get back into it. All right, so as you can see, here's some of the classes that I have, language arts, passion projects, reading, and writing. So let's see. City of Ember, that might be the easiest thing for you to see. Um, it's a whole unit. I did this instead of one assignment, it's a whole unit. And in the shared folder, I can update all of these different documents for the kids to have access to. So for me, I've only updated it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, but it pushes out to all of their iPads on its own, and I have 40 kids. So looking over here, I can click on Tani's, and she can type, um, this is called a text note right here, she can type a text note, you can leave voice notes, um, or she can write onto a document and it sends it back to me. As you can see, we did multiple things throughout this unit. Um, so that's Tawny's. All I gotta do is click on a different kid. So here's Peter. And um, this was a word scramble activity we did, um, I believe. And then there's just different prompts throughout the whole time. They didn't have to rewrite the prompt, but they just entered it as a text note. So as you can see, it lets kids update on their own, and it also lets them know if when things are due. So if I want to add a file, once again, I can just add another one here. And I could update it just to Peter's folder if I'm in here, in just his folder. But if I want to upload it to everybody, just hit the back arrow. And you can go into something different. Uh, let's see. Shared folder. Uh, let's. See. Here is something that they left a voice note. Um, it's easier to access assess it through your iPad because it just automatically plays it. Here, I would have to download the voice note and then listen to it. Um, but through the app, it's a lot easier. But that's pretty much plain and simple on how to start out with your paperless account. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. We have several teachers that are experts in it in the building, and um, they'd be willing to help you out, as well as myself. If you have any questions that go beyond what we already know about Shobi, um, the guys at the Shobi the guys that built Shobi and are running Shobi are absolutely great to work with. You can just email them and they will email you back before the end of the day. Um, as you can see down here, the contact us is a great place to start with that. So hopefully this helps you in how to start a paperless classroom. And if you have any more questions, let us know.